Hey everyone, welcome back! Today we're jumping straight into the top 10 plays from week 1 of the Call of Duty League Major 2 qualifiers. Let's dive in! Starting off our list at number 10, we've got Pred tearing it up on Rio Hardpoint against the LA Thieves. Bro, should try to secure that prop. Yeah, these are, again, moments where you look to a player like Pred to really just dominate, take over as one of the best SMGs in potentially the league. Four in a row for him. And... Five and okay, just prove my point for me, Pred. <laughs> really easy stuff going through backside gate. One more player in the way, that is Cramp. And I will say, again, talking about potential hot subs, Cramp has looked nasty with the rival nine, but he gets taken down and Ghosty finds both oh. of his forward teammates with a team nade, so not good news. Moving on to number nine, Asim makes a triumphant return pulling off some crazy moves to secure Boston's victory against the Ravens. Spawn control comes down to this one-on-one, -on -one, and well, who's gonna win it? It's gonna be the newcomer in a scene. He's both. able to find the double, and now his team in control of I mean, This is huge, the way you're setting up on the map, like it seems in trouble, he's about to get pinched by two players, but he's actually able to take down both, so the newcomer is here, and the newcomer trying to maybe set. They're doing it right, they'll get there eventually. For now, though, you're playing the game. It's here right now. It's coming from AC. welcome in, my buddy. Joining in from Phase Black to the Boston Breach, his first match back into the CDL since playing for the Royal Ravens. Yeah. He gets a dub against his former team. Dub against his former team for sure, and then a handed way at that. I talked about it at the beginning when we were setting up this match that a team being brought up into this team is going to make them better at respawn. They were already a pretty solid respawn team, but he's going to add that fire and that consistency. And we really saw it during that high rise map number three, where every life at one point it just seemed like he was going on spree after spree after spree. You oh. see it on your screen. He's 27 and 13 right now on a four. Yeah, and to Ali's point, like he had a sub out on invasion, yep. doing his job. He picked up the most important two piece in bottom blue, and then he had an air out on the last to respawn. Grabbing the eighth spot, Toronto Ultra blows our minds with an insane 3 v 3 play with only eight seconds left on the clock. Linz has been found and he will be taken down but a three versus three with no time awakening, coiled like a viper. He has everything here they go for. He looks for inside and doesn't get it. Gets taken down as well. How has this happened? The bomb is being planted and they are running for their lives. It has gone down as well. Ultra somehow staying in game when all hope was lost. Oh, the flag for scrap, and they find a miracle on this map in the first round. That is a scam and a half Minnesota rocker, not the ice you are looking for. That is unfortunate. Awakening, he just drops the ball. He panics a little bit, shoots just a little bit too soon without standing up, and I mean, you were disgusted in the green room. So was the Rocker yeah. camp after this one. I mean, the damage is like done at this point in this map. It's like we're just laying it on even more. And in this situation, right? Like this is, yeah. This, oh, this is round number one. Okay, so round number one, this is an absolute breakdown. You're hoping Awakening can find some shots and take out the bomb carrier crossing over towards bomb. He misses, gets traded. And then they're in a situation where it's a two versus two. They just have no idea where Scrap is. The gap in dark is open. He hits it, find the kill. But that round from Minnesota's perspective, you could tell the comms were just all over the place. They had no idea what Toronto was showing. At lucky number seven, we witnessed some last second heroics with a massive triple from the Bulldog. Over steps, so you have the four on three. You have four more seconds. They have to get on the objective. Chase with the locking it down. One ah. more second. The Bulldog closes out map one. Listen, Chase Meda uh, hasn't absolutely like been himself maybe the the titan he was last year but he had some big moments yesterday where he was an absolute beast a massive moment there sitting comfortably at number six is phases draza going on a rampage with a jaw-dropping 12 kill spree against miami this on the map there's nowhere you can go a busy gets dealt with but it is just i mean you're stuck you're done <laughs> good luck pray for this one <laughs> The blender is fully in operation, and this one has an extra smooth setting. Atlanta Faze are punishing them back into the spawn now. One last roll of the dice, but they've got nowhere to go. Abizi and Draza, they hold all the tours. Draza finds another kill. There will be one for Metals, but he does Breaking into the top five, Scrappy delivers a nasty ace with the sub against the Miami Heritage. They're sticking them in map control. Vickle trying to find it, but does it check for Scrap inside a vending corner? He's able to take down two and finesse his life away. See if his teammates a two man advantage and he's gonna find the third in the round looking for the ace. Okay, this guy is just trying to get sassy with it now. 10 and six, had an incredible map one. The rival looking so good in Scrap's hands. We know how excited he's been to be able to like play a bit more of a flex role. And you are seeing it here, give him all four. He is dialed. 
And that's sort of the, you know, when you're going to give up in map control that way, you have to stun and innate check some of these corners. Play of the game, it comes from no other than the one and only trash talker from the purple squad up north. Scrap, the New Jersey boy, diamonds in his ears and he's got an ace up his sleeve. Yeah, I mean, he was using the SMG. We saw him get so many first bloods. He ran down it on offense and defense both times. Gets pushed up to the vending, finds one, gets the nasty two-piece. And then you know Scrap, he's always just going to be challenged. So he goes and gets around back, finds the third, and cleans it up for the ace. Scrap is just an absolute monster. And uh, that, of course, is with the rival. That's an SMG in his hands, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He can use any gun. Like, when you're talented like that, you yeah. can pull out any weapon. That's what's so annoying about Scrap, right? Is like, he talks to Trash, and he somehow just backs it up every single time. And I think that's what... Sliding into the fourth spot, we're treated to one of the wildest rounds of control this season, with Atlanta pulling off pure magic with just 0.1 seconds left on the clock. Easy finds Meadows, but it's going to be a dive for the point! 0.1 second, Eric Boom unloads, but it's nothing but air! And they're just in this tick for another chance. They have the lives and a minute left on the board. Point though, flying in red, not going to get it on the medals. More players coming through for the trades of Beasy, has to make it, he's got it. Drazza will find a second, and now they're flying towards the point four versus five. The time is ricocheting out for them. 4.1, they stop it. Lucky will find a two as well. Beasy will get that trade, a three versus two. It all comes down to this. First one, Beasy, the second he looks for as well as he fires, it's going to be a turn of burns. Hit for the 1v1, oh. and a clutch from Atlanta Phase. What on earth, Miami Heretics? He had it all in the palm of your hand, but it has flown into the wind like the dust of ages. What was that? Oh, that is ungodly. 0.1 seconds for the initial cap on A. From the end of round one, after clutching up in the search and destroy, this went down. Yeah, no. For me, actually, I believe this is map three. Yeah, it's actually map three control. This is where there was no time on the clock, and Selim hops on with a 0.1 deficit. And I mean, Atlanta Face had no business winning this round. So not only do they capture A, they end up getting the white and jumping on to B as well. And this leads into a 3-0 dominant performance out of the Atlanta phase for map three control. Draza goes on a 12-3 in round number two following this clutch. I mean, it was just massive. And have you had tighter rounds than that? A point one, and then you nah. get B at 4.1. Nah, I mean, it, it's just so tough, right? Like, what, once they're able At the third spot, we witnessed some genius level play from the potential rookie of the year nominee. Linz with an incredible display of trigger discipline. Found a way to up top though. Oh, hello. In hello. For the wins! All the way to the back. That's two already. Flying out the third will fall down from Awakening and Kleenex is left alone. And sure. Linz will yeah. get his third. Unbelievable. There was a gap and it was exploited to the fullest. Dude, that was exploited instantaneously. Good trigger discipline as well. The route on point. I'm not kidding. Even the round before, Linz is straight up making plays. He has been single-handedly winning so many rounds, but there you see the timing just straight in through the window and slams him next to the wall right there for two. And of course, the follow-up after the fact, Linz might just be a uh, top. Taking the runner-up position is the Prince, armed with nothing but a pistol and a dream, pulling off a huge one versus two clutch. Pivot now into the smoke. Oh boy, firing bullets, but the smoke's gonna work against him. A two versus two with 29 seconds left. Inside, looking for Linz, but Linz wins the gunfight. On boy to one versus two. Time against him, position against him. Surely there isn't a win here. Uh, you just want the kills. I think if you get the kills, you'll take the win in that regard. That's number five in a row. Maybe he can win the round because it's Envoy. Of course he can. World champ for the 1v2. Squeezing water out of a rock. And that is Ultra up 4-0 in devastation after devastation in all of these rounds. The Ice Factor, the Battle of the North, Ultra reigns supreme. We are witnessing a breakdown of epic proportions. What is going on? Shouldn't have won. Scrap knows it as well. And claiming the throne at number one is none other than the SMD GOAT Attach, who gives us a performance for the ages, turning back time with an absolutely mind-blowing display of skill. Tank has a crazy radius. Wow. Blow up teammates, but that's already the first segment done. The second segment about to be complete, but at least Attach finds that one kill to earn himself that cruise missile. He's not done yet. We're jumping right back on in. That's already three dead. And now they're starting to get aggressive on the map. LAG, this is a crucial moment. You have to win these next fights so you don't get trapped. Dude, attack oh! everywhere on the map. Oh my goodness. Huge double from Attach. Clock for LAG to make their move. Man, they gotta get out, man. You gotta get out. 
this right now. The team fires the crossfires from Vegas Legion are just too strong. Oh. That's three, make it all four dead in the feed. Attached it, he got 30 and 15. Double positive, 2.0 KD. One off of Erdinac Cruz Missile has read this player beautifully. <laughs> Takes down S. Tats took over. It's your scuff play of the game. Here he is, round five of control. The streak that put his team in the position to take home a much needed match victory and 10 more points. Yeah, he was slamming. Like he jumps up here, he finds a couple of kills. He then pushes up towards the windows. And I love this heads up play. So a lot of the times, like you're trying to put a team in the blender, but you have to catch that last guy that gets out. So he actually takes the timing risk, turns around, kills the guy elevators, then does a 180 and slams the guy in the window for the highlight play, then picks up a cruise, which then rounds. So there you have it, folks. These were the top 10 plays from week one one of the CDL Major 2 qualifiers. Which play was your absolute favorite? Drop it in the comments below. This is the COD Archive, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care out there.